This area is no stranger to severe weather, and uh, when you talk about the high-end ones that get reminisced upon, talked about for uh, years, generations to come, you, you start talking about a list. You, know, you make a list. Where were you when the ice storm happened? Where were you on the night of December 10th? Where were you when the, the tri-state tornado, if you've got ancestors or family around here from then? How about the flood of the 1930s? You talk about blizzards, you talk about the 2000, early 2005 storms, 2015, blizzards in the 70s. This event, I don't think it's a stretch to put it in, if we made a top 10 power ranking, if you will, for lack of a better word, of the big ones in this area's history, I, th I think that this one you could classify and have an argument to put it in that category. I took this video earlier today in the city of Mayfield, and let me tell you, uh, I was standing in about mm, just over knee deep water. It really doesn't take that much to sweep you off your feet. And it may not look like this to you, but the power of water, some of you got an unfortunate reminder today, it is extreme. It does not take a lot of flowing water to move you or a vehicle. And this was the still photo. It's uh, also unfortunate, too, how nature has done this. Uh, the compounding of natural disasters just a year and a half later, same exact area, two different natural disasters. Rain totals since midnight across the area, close to a fourth in southeast Missouri. You're scratching the side of your head saying, huh? Uh, so, you know, we cover a big area, and, you know, for the most part, most people have got something, but there are spots that didn't get much of anything. The, the blue on here is one to three inches of rain, the purple three to five, <clears throat> the red would be five to seven, and the orange is seven to nine, uh, and this lighter orange nine to 11. And you can notice basically all of Ballard County fell somewhere in that seven to 11 inch range of precipitation. What you got east of about Smithland out towards Fredonia and Edison, the forecast was right in line. We talked about it for days that there would be this oriented line of storms and somewhere where it set up shop would just get absolutely pounded with rain and unfortunately the way that it happened in nature it just so happened to be over Mayfield and parts of Graves County which would be one of the last places I would have ever wanted to have put that but you can see this big yellow blob here that's where 11 inches or more of rain fell and especially from Fancy Farm to Dublin, Eastern Carlisle and Hickman counties you can see there in Murray as well about seven to nine inches but Tennessee friends purple again three to five inches northeast of Martin Martin about one to three, and then you start getting the, down the road from Troy and O'Brien in southern Lake County, and there really was not a ton of rain last night. The other story for this, too, especially if you did not get flooding, and I think this is going to be when I said this will be one of the ones, you know, the ones you talk about for years. You remember that lightning storm? If you were under that core of lightning last night and this morning, I mean, I have never seen six, seven, eight, nine hours of just bam after bam after bam of cloud to ground lightning and i mean i'm sure most of you or a lot of you are shaking your head at the tv right now hearing that and wait till you see the lightning count that i came up with but this is a rough estimate i calculated it out Thirty thousand bolts of lightning the number i got was about thirty-three thousand in the wpsd designated market area so about thirty thousand bolts of lightning struck last night just let that sink in 6 to 12 inches of rain across West Kentucky. The average recurrence interval for that is about every 1 to 200 years. That means, when you do the statistics of that, that in any given year, there's a 0.5% chance for a rain event of that magnitude to happen. So, in English, it's pretty uncommon and hard to achieve, especially when you consider we didn't have a tropical storm. Most big rain events, if you look at the record book here of all events we've had over five inches of rain, more of them than not have been in the fall of the winter from when we had a hurricane remnant coming up, not just the middle of July with nothing. All right, that out of the way, looking ahead to the overnight, we should be quiet. Now tomorrow, unfortunately, I hate to have to do this, but there may be more scattered storms. Here's 7.30 in the morning with uh, potentially some lightning, gusty winds, and quick hitting downpours. They should be out of here by the midday hours but I want you to tune in tonight at 10. I'll have a little better handle, I think, on the timing and the coverage and intensity of the storms tomorrow, but there'll be nothing like today. The humidity still with us tomorrow. The humidity plummets on Friday, 85. The weekend's a beauty. We deserve it. Lots of sun, light winds, upper 80s. Then the humidity and the heat comes back. Should get up into the middle 90s, I think, by the middle part of next week.